All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, this is just going to be quick, uh, just a news update. And just like we said, man, uh, you, well, you see it in the title here over 100 million in China's Northeast face renewed lockdown. All right, now this this is uh, Bloomberg.com. It came out May 18th, which is today. All right. And uh, it says, conditions return to height of China's epidemic in February. Frustration as restrictions tighten um, again after easing, uh, earlier easing. You know, which is why they talk about that uh, second wave which is coming. But we, we kept telling you this, you know, when from the, the day that, you know, the cases started going down and they said um, China's, you know, reopened again. We said, look, it's not going to last because the scriptures tell you that. When they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. The scriptures say, look, man, judgment, the Lord said his plagues are sent, all right, and they're not going to come back anymore. You know, it's like an arrow that's been shot of a mighty archer. The arrow ain't going to do a U-turn, all right, or a three-point turn and come back to the archer, okay? It's going to go and hit its target. So these plagues that were sent, they're going to, they're going to, they're here to stay, all right? They're here to do their damage, and if they haven't done that damage, they're not going anywhere. All right? So it says some 108 million people in China's northeast region are being plunged back under lockdown conditions as a new and growing cluster of infections causes a backslide in the nation's return to normal. You see? And that's exactly what you're going to see here. All right? When the time, when the time comes, they're going to say, look, these people were so quick and eager so impatient to open things back up. And now look, there's another wave. And I'm pretty sure in the news there's going to be people coming out and saying, look, we got to look at China. They're getting their cases again. We got to we gotta start preparing now. And then they're going to say, nope, nobody's going to listen. And then they're going to get hit super hard when this so-called second wave comes. And so they're going to have the excuse of saying, well, look, we told you to prepare. We told you we would have a dark winter if we did not prepare. We showed you what was happening in China. Nobody listened. Look where we at. It's an excuse to allow more casualties. Now, who knows? They might release a very deadly version or strain of it, you know, and call it coronavirus in the fall. One that actually kills people. Or they might put it in the vaccine. You don't know. They might put it in the vaccine and say it's the virus. I don't, I don't know. But look, the point is, this article right here is just a sign of things to come. So it says, in an abrupt, <laughs> and, and guess what? The same way the virus started in China and it spread around the world, now it's resurfacing in China, now it's going to resurface around the world and throw everything back into lockdown. Because then there would be no point of starting the pandemic if you're just going to open things back up again. All right? There's no point in that. They haven't got what they wanted. It says, in an abrupt reversal of the reopening taking place across the nation, Cities in Jilin province have cut off trains, buses, shut schools, and quarantined tens of thousands of people. The strict measures have dismayed many residents who had thought the worst of the nation's epidemic was over. Oh, but you couldn't have been more wrong. And I want to hear, I'm waiting to hear them say, hey, uh, this new virus, is, is the mortality rate is higher than we thought. You know, to actually start, you know, I mean, bodies actually dropping at a, at a crazier rate. You see, because th they need to push it harder this time. They saw, okay, this is the level we pushed the virus, the scare on, and this is how much control we were able to gain. So we know that if we want more control, we have to create more fear. And sometimes it might not just be with propaganda. We might actually have to drop the bodies, man. Instead of inflating the numbers, release a debt. We're gonna, we might just release a deadlier strain and actually have these numbers, you know, go through the roof. You never know. But it says, people are feeling more cautious again, said uh, Fan Pai, who works at a trading uh, company in uh, Shenyang, a city in nearby La, uh, Liaoing, Lianoing, whatever, uh, province that, that's also facing renewed restrictions. Children playing outside are wearing masks again, and healthcare workers are walking around in protective gear, she said. It's frustrating because you don't know when it will end. And as the cases jump, guess what? They're just going to throw you right back into lockdown. It says, while the cluster of 34 infections isn't growing as quickly, the outbreak in Wuhan, which started the global pandemic last December, 
China's swift and powerful re uh, reaction reflects its fear of a second wave after it curbed the virus's spread at great economic and social cost. It said it also, it's also a sign of how fragile the reopening process will be in China elsewhere as even the slightest hint of a resurgence of infections could prompt a return to strict lockdown. See? So now the, the problem is this virus just keeps coming right back. So we need a permanent solution. What's a permanent solution? A vaccine. Second waves that are hard to trace plague Asia's virus recovery. Uh, now, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to skim through now and see if and there are any important uh, parts I want to hit. All right. It says, a sense of deja vu is permeating Jilin City, which underwent the same strict lockdown implemented in most of China in February and March, despite only reporting daily cases in the single digits, digits then. Overall, Jilin's, province, Jilin's province's total cases stand at 127. Hubei province had 68,000. That's a lot. All right. Uh, <laughs> everyone is jittery, said Wang Yu, uh, Yue Mei. Not, not everyone. We're not jittery. All right. Pursuant to Isaiah 33 and 6, we stable. Very stable. Okay. And, we, and Lord willing, we stay stable throughout this whole thing. A pharmaceutical factory worker in neighbor uh, in neighboring Tong Tonghua, I I never expected Jilin Province to be a hard hit area when the whole country is getting back to normal now. All right, and that's what the Most High does. That's why it says when they shall say. Let me get the precept. When they shall say peace and safety, because you're not gonna expect it. All right, uh, First Thessalonians five and three. All right. This is First Thessalonians chapter five, verse three. For when they sit, when for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So just at the point where you think everything is good, you think everything is opening back up. You know, everybody's going back to normal. You know, what I'm saying the, the the we've passed the peak. The numbers are dropping. Boom. Because the scriptures say this is the beginning of sorrows. Jacob's trouble hasn't even fully started yet. And you thinking, you, you, here it is, you got people thinking the storm is over when you're in the midst of the calm of the storm. The storm hasn't hit yet. But you're thinking, well, there was some heavy wind gusts and, you know what I'm saying, things calm down now. Let me let me come outside. You about to come outside and run right into the storm. All right. Let's see if there's anything else here. Uh... Yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to read on that. Uh, Lord willing, I'll put the article to this, uh, the link to this article in the description. So if you want to read the whole thing, all right, you can go ahead and do so. All right, but nonetheless, like we said, man, look, this is prophecy, man. And these prophecies, as the scriptures say, they will not lie. At the end, they shall speak and not lie. All right, so this is only the beginning, man. This is only the beginning. Like, the, the famines haven't even fully hit yet. You know what I'm saying? This, this place is about to see something that it's never seen before. All right, that tells you that in Daniel 12 and 1. Anyway, with that, I hope this was at a final to the elect. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakodash. Till next time, Shalom.